right sejal welcome to another episode of shut up sejal so today we're going to talk about something that i have talked about before but i think i can talk about it with a little more maturity and a little more years after it has happened so today we're going to talk about pageants Woo! If you guys have seen my videos for a while or if you haven't if you're new here I was very involved in beauty pageants for say a year or two of my life when I was very 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 young uh, one of the only ways to get into entertainment if you wanted to be an actor or a model or just in general like become famous either you <laughs> go to like a beauty pageant or you go to a reality show if if you have no contacts basically and this whole thing around me you know my mom agar if your height was like above 5 6 because wo paper mein aata tha i remember like beauty pageants ka criteria um if your height was above 5 6 or if you looked pretty by the usual standards which are anyway fucked up people would suggest to you to apply for a beauty pageant and i remember uska age limit bhi hota tha that you can only apply after your 18 right so after your school exams and after i was done with my school exams and you know this whole thing was going around and my height was more than 5 6 so i was very excited yes 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 i can apply and anyway i wanted to get into this field as i've mentioned before i really wanted to get into some sort of entertainment either be an actor or something else so i had no idea how to go about it so i really wanted to apply and that was a huge exciting thing for me to do when i went to college i was in delhi university and there are a lot of like these freshers uh, contests that happen or oh, miss freshers mr freshers uh in my college it was mr and miss crossroads and wo photo paper mein bhi aati thi and wo bahut exciting hota tha a very exciting prospect for a young kid right to see your photo like blown up in a paper and when i went to college i always like participated in these miss freshers things and like that i thought it was like an exciting thing to do but even when i was doing it back then i always felt like it's a little weird that all we do is we're just 20 of us we just kind of like go up and down the stage a couple of times and then people get to decide who the best person is maybe they ask you a question if you make it to the next round or maybe you don't even get to be asked a question if you weren't good enough to make it to the next round and i felt it's weird to be told like who the best one is or who the most good looking one is so going back to my personal story how i got into the whole beauty pageant zone so i was a part of this contest in my college called miss crossroads or some some other college i can't remember it was one of these things fashion show sort of vibe um and i think i did pretty well in that one i actually won also and after that was done um i got a call or i got approached from some one of the organizers saying that oh you know i'm decent looking i'm tall basically then i was told to lose weight to be you know more like proper looking for a pageant because oh you have to be a model and you have to look a certain way etc and i thought ha ha okay okay of course wo to feedback hai hi i didn't overthink it because yeah like that's what everyone tells you right you see it in the magazines you see it on tv they all look a certain way and i was like okay fine this is great thank you for the feedback so i researched and found what is the best way i can prepare myself to audition and hopefully get selected i found a training institute that helps girls you know groom themselves and like learn how to walk and look a certain way etc to be a part of the pageant and i thought wow this is great i can just go here for a month after my college gets over and get like professional guidance and just get ready and hopefully i'll get selected after that so i went um there were a bunch of girls who had come from literally like all over the country with similar aspirations who were very excited some of them were also you know trying to convince their parents back at home that this is what they want to do and please let us do this um it was i think 18 of us together who were there for a month you know with our trainer it was overall a good experience yes i got to learn a bunch i got to learn how to walk which was really fun like walking the ramp is a really really fun thing to do it's like going to a dance class what i found was really difficult to fathom as i'm growing up now i realize is just this whole thing of like pitting one girl against the other who's taller 
who's thinner and of course being thinner is a better quality you know checking your weight whether you make the cut for the weight which is really bad yeah just like being compared on your looks yes there were other bits we got to like learn how to like talk answer questions which are questions hote hain and i look back i'm just like okay that's kind of funny when i think back i got selected i got to be a part of a beauty pageant which was a sub pageant of another pageant uh really exciting very very exciting uh, also scary like i was gymming like crazy from my training to prepping for this pageant because i had this constant thing that oh i have to be in the perfect shape so at that time as well i became 51 kg which is not good it's too less for someone my height and just not eating like literally not eating um because to maintain that kind of weight like you have to eat very little and also go to the gym a lot i was spending like an hour and a half in the gym every day lifting way too much but mere dimag mein wo tha ki nahi 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 i have to do this because this is the ideal that that is what is going to get me selected it was fun like all of us uh, it was me and like i think 20 other girls who ended up going for the pageant uh, we got to stay together in a hotel in mumbai and we had a bunch of different sessions that we did together uh we had skin care session styling session with different different experts who had come i made it to the top 10 of this pageant i just got to walk and then i didn't get to the question answer round which really made me feel bad because i was like are i thought this was like a good point a good skill that i have i can answer stuff on the spot and i didn't get to do it and i just thought oh my god like that sucks and i felt really bad about it one whole day i was very sad and then i thought okay fine this is done Now this is like God sent to me to focus on YouTube. At that point, I had thirty thousand subscribers, so I was very like happy. कि चलो अब मैं यहीं पे अपनी पूरी energy डालूँगी. In the main part of our selection, like on the main main day, जिसमें मैं eliminate हो गई थी, I still remember it was like two girls had to walk together, and then the stage was kind of split. So one girl goes this way, the other girl goes this way. So we both walked. and uh, when the girl next to me she went this way all the judges like their eyes shifted to her and in my mind i was having a mini heart attack oh my god like what can i do and now when i look back i'm happy for her like she walked better than me or she's nicer looking or whatever you know she's she's amazing but what like how why are we comparing like two girls who are walking also in their swimsuits hello like this is something it which is so traumatic to me now because like why should like girls 20 of them walk around in their swimsuits when a bunch of judges like stare at you and decide who's better it's actually really scary like i'll be honest like it's still really scary for me to talk about all of this because these are these are things that you kind of don't tell anyone and that's what i'm talking about like this whole concept of comparing people based on things that they can't control especially more than things that they can control just breeds like so much shame like main kisi ko nahi batana chahti ki oh main select nahi hui and oh i was the one who wasn't good enough when you are even brought to audition the brief that we given is come wearing a black dress with heels minimal makeup and that's it and there are like 150 girls more than that that line up to do those auditions in one place and you are put in basic basic clothes that's just basically eliminating any sort of personality that you may have whatsoever and just comparing you on basic features that you might have you know like i've had makeup artists or just people who have worked with in general comment on certain things like oh like this feature of yours is good or this feature of yours is bad and i always kind of internalize that i was like oh yeah this feature of mine is great or oh no this feature of mine is really bad i need to do something about it but only very recently i've sort of realized that why what is this like standard of good and bad features that you hold in your head why am i supposed to sort of comply to this standard of good and bad features also why is 5 6 the only height that's allowed to compete in a beauty pageant like is an inch shorter than that not eligible to be beautiful like is that what it is you know it's so interesting that the way like the beauty pageants are positioned is that oh we're giving like a huge stepping stone to this person to like launch in the world of entertainment 
I get that it's been super successful for some few people. And that's the thing that सब लोग सोच के आते हैं कि हाँ हमारे साथ भी ये होगा मैंने भी वही सोचा था बट दिस एक्सपेक्ट इट इज इन हाई इन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्लेस बट हियर लाइक जो एक्सपेक्टेशन होती हैं इट्स इट 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 इज इन रियली लाइक दैट एंड आई फील लाइक इट फील्स लाइक इट्स अ फेयर प्लेटफॉर्म दैट ओके यू गेट टू जस्ट गो फॉर एन ऑडिशन एंड इफ यूर ग्रेट यू गेट सेलेक्टेड आई नो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ डिजाइनर्स एट लीस्ट दिस वुड आई हर्ड दैट पॉइंट दैट ओन लाइक अ टॉल बॉडी आर गार्मेंट्स फ्लो बेटर But now as I'm growing up, and I, I internalize that, oh, like to look good in jeans, I need to lose weight. But I'm like, oh my god, the jeans need to be made better to fit me. Like, I, मेरी body है भाई, वो तो कपड़ा है. You know, it can be made bigger, and like it can be made to fit me in a better way. And I, I'm glad that fashion and you know all this stuff is changing. The trend is changing, and it's all about inclusivity these days. But I hope it. I I really wish it was like that before as well, because I was like a 21 year old who kind of internalized all this feedback. I'm so glad that I had another thing that I was doing. I was doing YouTube, and I had done a few brand deals by then, which is like business work, right? So I'd made a little bit of money. So I was confident in my own self, and I was confident in my intelligence. कि हाँ, like मेरे को कुछ तो आता है, चलो. But for someone who's fresh out of school, because there were quite a few people who were fresh out of school, when you're told these things, like you don't really know how else to understand, right? If we do a brand deal, say on one of the episodes, we get paid. and that's great uh it helps us like produce this better and also i get to take that money home and then pay rent with that money right so it's profit for us and it's the same for beauty pageants they are owned by a corporation that sees them as a digital property and as a way to place ads and sponsors and they you know market it as oh this is a skin care session or this is like a styling session or this is like sponsored by x brand session or even the whole thing is sponsored by x brand presents la 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 and as a kid if you see it or if you're part of those sessions which i was it sounds so exciting it's positioned to participants and i think the viewers is like oh we are giving education of like skin care session and this session and that session which is fine they are calling an expert and giving education but what is not communicated is that these are all brand placements and the person who owns this digital property or well intellectual property is getting paid for that and all the participants are made to pose with the products and do you know stuff like photo shoots and stuff like that and obviously are not getting paid which i don't think is fair like i also posed with a bunch of stuff that was asked of me to pose for because i thought oh i have to be good i have to be perfect and sit straight and like win the whole thing but i do remember thinking that oh if this was something related to my youtube channel work i would not want to do it you know because it's not really helping me and i don't think younger girls um, or anyone who doesn't have this brand while experience will understand um and now i get it another interesting thing is so like i was a part of a sub pageant right so for all our outfits for 10 days and sometimes we were wearing like two outfits per day which had to be different the clothes that we were asked to bring they given like a kit list before we were asked to come and we were told to bring you know like so many dresses so many like even like a fancy night suit and even you know like lots of like different things which was really overwhelming and bunch of like shoes and heels and all of this like we had to buy on our own um i managed to source a lot we had to make a lot of personal investment in terms of clothes going to the gym uh maintaining our diet and all that stuff can be really expensive if you put all the costs together so it's kind of like another layer of exclusion in my case i was lucky that i had already started my youtube career and had access to things like ki theek hai maine brand se source kar liya and thode jugad kar kar ke i managed to like make my entire you know kit list of things i needed to carry but if i didn't have that honestly i am very uncomfortable with spending so much money on like so many amounts of clothes especially as a 21 year old or my parents wouldn't be comfortable with that you know even a thing like um, in our training we were asked to buy a kit of makeup uh, from like bunch of different brands and that whole thing ka cost came to 11000 i still remember and i felt like oh my god this is very expensive even at that point but we were kind of like told ki no ye to this is the basic and you have to get it and i saw a lot of other people getting uncomfortable with it as well 
there was that and then there was another gown we had to buy because there's a gown round and that also was like 11000 it's just lying in my cupboard and i just feel like are that's a lot of money kahan se lao i had saved some so i used from my youtube earnings but really like it's too it's too expensive and another thing that affects me till today which pretty much started after this time 2016 right uh is food because i had to reduce my weight and look a certain way basically reduce like fat percentage on my body and look thinner um i was 56 right and i became 51 which is actually a lot 5 kg is bahut zyada hota hai to lose um I never thought I was fat or anything but after that I started thinking I was fat until today I think I'm fat and my weight has like fluctuated over the years because after that because I was eating very 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 little amounts I was eating extremely clean didn't have anything outside for like 5 months yeah and till today I feel like I have a very toxic relationship with food and exercising vanity and looking good has to be as effortless as possible in public but you do whatever you can in the bathroom when you're alone with your freaking epilators and like diet and blah 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 and nobody should be able to see the effort only this kind of beauty is appreciated which is natural and effortless bhai ye kya hai matlab and you know the fact that you ingrain all of these things as you become a grown person is very very um disturbing and i think i'm happy that at this point i have the courage to like question these things whether it's to my family whether it's to like society or anyone who comments anything on me main to unhe bol deti hu ulta ki nahi you know don't say these things to me this is very hard to get rid of as you grow up you have to like reprogram your brain being called out for something is in public especially when you're younger is a very long lasting thing and the fact that it's done repeatedly doesn't go away easy And our next contestant is Sejal Kumar. Hello, Sejal. Um, introduce yourself. Namaskar. My name is Sejal Kumar, and I'm from the capital city of India, New Delhi. I am 21 years old, and I have lots of hobbies. I like to dance. I like to sing, and I am also studying economics. And I'm very, very passionate about being here in a pageant because it helps me. Talk about my passions and also uh, look. Uh, yes, I'm very. I'm a very passionate girl. Okay, Sejal. So I'm going to ask you your first question. Sejal, do you think world peace is important? Uh, thank you for the question, ma'am. I think that world peace is a very, very, very important thing for the entire world, and I would love to contribute to the world. by spreading more love uh, for world peace thank you very much yeah. okay sejal uh, so there's a lot of uh, geopolitical conflicts here these days in the world how will you solve all of them single handedly thank you for the question ma'am so i think geo is something that has changed the country entirely it has provided free internet to the entire country and i'm so happy that it has uh brought about a digital transformation in india and it it it, it has helped people come out from um nowhere and become a somebody thank you very much okay that was not the geo i was referring to also there is a pothole outside my house will you be able to fix it <laughs> shut up say shut i give up Okay so that was my personal experience with this entire beauty pageant scene. I hope you found this insightful, interesting or whatever you found. If you found it anything, please like, share, subscribe and comment and bell button and all of that stuff and I'll see you next time. Bye. I think we're the first generation of like content creators yeah. influencers. Yeah. So we don't have people who've done this before us so we don't know how to go about this but I sometimes feel that if you're cashing in on the relatability part at any point in your career then it is bound to happen that after one point when you evolve or grow into another yeah. person people are going to be disappointed because they yeah. are going to expect you to stay the same over like to 19 se jab like koi bhi insaan jab 19 saal ka hota hai when they get into their 20s they're not the same person people change every exactly. year exactly listen ab main ye insaan hu main us time thi ya tha ab main now i am this person